two months after his murder at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Jamal Khashoggi has been honored for the very reason he was killed, for questioning how the Saudi regime rules. Every year, the Time editors spend months debating and talking about who they think, who we think should best represent the, the trends of the year, who had the greatest impact on the news and on the world. And this year, we've chosen the guardians and the war against truth. Khashoggi, in traditional thub and headdress, graces one of four covers put out by the magazine. We didn't do anything wrong. The others feature the two Reuters reporters jailed in Myanmar for reporting on atrocities against the Rohingya. The staff of a local U.S. newspaper who survived a deadly attack by a gunman, angry with their coverage of his criminal case. And a former TV reporter turned online website editor in the Philippines, targeted by a president who doesn't want his behavior covered. We are not against the government. We are not against President Duterte, but we do want to hold him and his government accountable for the tens and thousands of people who have been killed in the drug war, for the impunity that we see online. You are creating you, and also a lot of the reporters are creating violence by not writing the truth. The fake news is creating violence. Analysts say press freedom is more vulnerable than ever because politicians on six continents are attacking the public's trust in the media. But they add that in Washington, Jamal Khashoggi's murder, on orders of the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, has Congress and the public taking a very close look at the Trump administration's priorities, alliances, and values. This is a moment where one understands that from a foreign policy perspective, the U.S. has to demonstrate what it stands for. And uh, the Khashoggi uh, killing and the fallout has opened up much of the subtle debates we've had behind the scenes in the full public view, and that's why it's become so contentious. Time editors say Khashoggi and the other honorees symbolize the journalists around the world who try to hold their leaders accountable, a tribute to those who question, even at catastrophic risk to themselves. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.